Hello, everyone. This is Ralph Goodale. Thank you for asking me to join you here today. Last March, the Prime Minister gave me an extraordinary privilege when he asked me to assist the Government of Canada in its ongoing response to the horrible tragedy of Flight PS752. That assignment has been the toughest I have ever undertaken in nearly 50 years in public life. The toughest because the grief and anguish of the families of the victims, your grief and anguish, are so real and raw and ongoing. Every encounter, whether virtual or in person, has been profoundly emotional. And that's entirely appropriate. Your pain and anger are completely legitimate. Part of my task has been to convey your feelings to the Government of Canada and to help ensure the government is responding in the strongest and most effective ways. It has been a great honor to meet you, to hear your personal stories, to sense your love and affection for the precious family members so cruelly taken from you, to share your grief and your anger and to hear your cries for truth and justice. Last month, I published my report on PS752. It's entitled, The Long Road to Transparency, Accountability, and Justice. My message was very clear. It is you, the families, who matter most. There is indeed a long road ahead. But as you've heard from the Prime Minister and Ministers Champagne and Garneau, the Government of Canada is determined to walk that road with you for as long as it takes to get as close as humanly possible to the truth, the truth about what made the skies over Tehran that fateful morning one year ago so terribly dangerous. You deserve that truth to gain some sense of solace and closure. And the world needs that truth in order to protect innocent civil aviation from the irresponsible high-risk conditions and behaviors that claimed 176 lives in such a cruel and wanton way. We've asked the probing questions and we will use all the available instruments of domestic law and international law to get the answers and the remedies that you deserve. And to bring the international community and its institutions to feel as passionately as Canada feels about transparency, accountability, and justice for the victims of PS752. In the meantime, today is for remembering all the names of those lost, their faces and voices, the smiles, the touch, the lives so full of love and potential. They will live forever in your hearts. They will be commemorated by all Canadians. Canada is so grateful that so many people on board PS752 had chosen Canada to be their home and native land. We are honored and we thank you.